Here in this video, I am going to show you that how you can display gallery images on the basis of uh, selected color. So here on my screen, you can see that I have uh, multiple images displaying on the left hand side and uh, we have the color swatches as well. So whichever color we are selecting accordingly, the image is displayed. But on the left hand side, you can see that we have all those images and we are interested to display only the specific color images and other images should be hided. This video is specific for press each theme if you have any other theme then you can message me i will help you out in that or maybe i will upload a new video i have already added a link below in the description so you can follow the documentation i have the documentation here so the first point is that you need to update all text of images in the gallery for each product so what does it mean it means that we need to go to the dashboard of the store here you should click on uh, products and you can see that i am dealing with this product and here you will see that all the images are displayed and all the color variants are also displayed here. So in these color variants, you need to select the main image. For example, I am clicking on this uh, image. You can see that we have add all text. So which all text we need to add? We need to select according to the color uh, variant which we have added here. So this is white. So I'm going to copy this color variant, click on image, click on add all text and paste the color variant name and then click on save all text and close the window in the same way you should add all the other alt texts uh, for other images for example this is also white i have already added uh, this is also the white image i have already added the alt text uh, earlier so these are other images like uh, black so you can see that we have also the variant name black so you should uh, put the value of alt text for all the black images in the same way we have for the gray so these are three gray images so here you need to put the alt text as a gray so similarly if you have other products you also need to update this alt text the second step is that go to snippets open product dash gallery dot liquid so you need to go to the dashboard here you can see that i have installed prestige theme you should click on these three dots click on edit code we have some folders and files you need to search here product dash gallery click on this product dash gallery dot liquid and inside of it what we have to do is we need to find media in product dot media so this is actually a loop which we need to find out here so using control f or maybe command f you will able to find it out so this is on three places you can see that the first place is uh, this one this loop and second loop is this one third loop is this and fourth loop is this so we actually need to update in uh, second third and fourth loop so this was the first loop we don't need to do anything and this is the second loop 146 line number this will be around so inside of it what we have to do is we need to add this code so you need to copy this code and here you can see that inside of this uh, loop we have a div tag so we need to uh, go to the end you can see that we are in the end of this line just left of this uh, closing bracket you need to press enter key so why this is uh, why i am doing this because this tag is opening from here and closing at this place i mean line number 149 just above it we need to paste that code i have pasted that code inside of this opening tag of div all right put this same code in other uh, loop so you can see that we have this loop you should scroll it down and here we have another loop so inside of it we have button tag so button tag is uh, starting from here we need to go to end of this line so for example i am scrolling in the right you can see that this tag is closed here so again you need to press enter key and inside of this opening tag you need to paste third loop is uh, we need to scroll it down here we go you can see that we have another loop inside of it we also have the button tag so what you have to do is you need to scroll to the right and here you can see that we have opening tag and you should press enter key twice and then paste that code and now you need to save the changes this was the second step now the third step is go to assets theme.js so in the assets folder we will be having .js here you can see that we have inside assets folder we have theme.js inside of theme.js we need to find this function you, uh, you should copy this using control f or maybe command f you will be finding this and it will be highlighted automatically 
so inside of this function we need to add this code so actually we need to add this code at the end of this uh, closing bracket you so you can see that the function is ending here just above this line we are going to paste that code all right so once you are pasting it you should click on save so the changes are saved and now we are interested to see the changes in the front end so let me refresh this page again here we go now you can see that we have only those images uh, for which we have selected the color if we are selecting gray so only gray uh, images are displayed can you see only gray images are displayed in the same way if i am uh, selecting white so only white images are displayed can you see so this is how we are displaying this for example you are interested to change the view of this so let me show you how it will look for example you are clicking on product page we have this one product view second so this is how it will look and in the same way we have grid we have thumbnail left and thumbnail bottom for example you are putting it in the bottom so this will also work in this way and we have also the dot carousel so dot carousel means only using the carousel only those selected images will be displayed here and slided left to right for example this one you can see that only dots are uh, working for that specific color so this is how you can actually uh, do the stuff for your uh, store if you are stuck somewhere you can ask me i will definitely help you out in that if you have any problem then definitely you can contact me i will help you out in that thank you so much for watching this video if you are new on this channel then please like this video also subscribe this channel thank you once again see you in the next video